<laughs> Doug just woke up, guys. Doug, you're so lazy. <laughs> what a dog. Oh, Dougie, we're going outside. Oh, you drove me nuts last night. That, uh, I, I'm thinking it was a fox. Just the way it was slinking around. Oh, I almost tripped there. The way it was slinking around the yard. I know one thing, though. Uh, when the ducks made the noise in the pen, Doug, uh, I guess the, the whatever came close uh, to the pen, uh, when the ducks freaked, Doug could smell it at the exact same time because I can't believe how fast he uh, woke up. It was pretty quick. All right, I got to get organized here. So this is the last morning, guys, of uh, the duck hospital treatments. I don't have uh, any more antibiotics and uh, we've officially burned through uh, two of those uh, uh, 20 kilogram bags of salt, Epsom salts. But, you know, I had a gut feeling, you know, about a predator. So I just, something told me, you know. And I thought, well, you know, since I'm not out here because I'm hurting and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not the best, I'll be honest with you right now. Okay, I got a problem here. The gate is so swollen. Oh, yesterday, that uh, patio stone totally collapsed in. Doug stepped on it and blocked the door. <laughs> it was locked in for a split second. No ducks, you're not coming out. Yeah, oh yeah, so I'll show you where the... Uh, hang on here. I'm, not, I'm not too organized here. So... I it, would, it was actually a perfect shotgun shot if I would have had the shotgun in my hand, but I was so asleep. He was right here. This is where he was. I looked out the window and I saw him. And I, I wonder if we can even see any footprints here in the mud. No, I don't see anything. He was right in this area, like right here. Um, and he was circling the pen. And he took off when Doug barked. He actually, he, he came from that direction, came over, and then he started walking that direction. That's when I looked out. Doug barked, and he took off that way. He moved really quick, and actually, he heard me in the bedroom, rustling around, getting out of bed, because when I got to the window, he was looking at the window. Because I was shocked, because usually, you know, with the quack and ducks, they, um, they're, they're totally focused on the pen. So I guess the ducks just weren't loud enough to uh, cover up my noise that I was making. Because uh, I, I couldn't believe it. Like when I looked out the window, he um, had his head turned looking at me. I was actually shocked that uh, he knew I was there. Yeah, so somewhere around here, we've got a predator lurking in the background. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day. Well, nicer and wet. Oh, oh, almost got soaked there. Um, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be out here working. I gotta start getting things uh, organized. Plus, tomorrow is gonna be the last day for the duck hospital. Because uh, I'm gonna set up all new nesting boxes and get the ducks starting to go in the metal shed here. Because I'm gonna be tearing the barn apart and wiring it up for live streaming and getting ready for the ducklings. We're not gonna be doing any construction, but. Which, hey. That's just the way it worked out. Nothing I can do about that. All right, let's get the little duckies here. And I'm just looking. It's because two of the Muscovies flew out of the, the uh, uh, pen yesterday. Okay, there's one. Where's the other one? 
Okay. Where is she? I don't see her, guys. Oh, Frank and Lucy, eh? We're missing a Muscovy here. Okay, that's a Muscovy male. Oh, no, there she is. Okay. Yeah, that little girl. The two girls flew out of the pen yesterday and went down to the uh, swamp. And I thought maybe last night that they were uh, still out of the pen. Let's look at this. They want to go out so bad. But I can't because I have to uh, go to town. I'm not going to be outside. i got to go to the food bank today. Tomorrow I'll be working here. Plus I gotta get on with tech support and figure out what's going on with this streaming thing. Because I'm not kidding you guys, this morning it was like 42 or 52 minutes I struggled. Well they drank all their water last night. Yeah, so the girl with the wicked uh, swollen leg, I had to say goodbye to her. And I'm not kidding you, like, like, uh, I glassed up guys plus she was just freaking out like absolutely just freaking which made it worse you know huh stripper move uh there, okay. yeah she was like totally absolutely freaking out which made it worse it was already hard enough you know like it was hard guys I'm not kidding you like and I've killed lots of animals you know here and uh, I, I have never I've never been fond of uh, doing females. I got a problem with uh, taking a, a female duck's life. Especially with the breeders, you know. But I'm thinking that these two girls, we got the uh, infection under control. And the hip girl, the white one, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, uh, I, I honestly I don't know. I don't know if uh, we're going to have uh, a problem here. All right. Water. Okay. Egg recon. Look at them. They're down at that gate. Oh, let us out. Let us out. I'm really sorry, ducks. Not without Doug out here or me out here. Because I have, I, like I said, I got a bad feeling that this fox, uh, because, you know, he appeared, yeah, duck, um, I, I just got a bad feeling. I, I think we've lost the duck. The fact that he was right in the yard and I had them locked up yesterday was like, okay, he came by during the day, never got a meal, you know, and then I uh, decided to come back at night. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know why I had that thought about the. I think it's just because it's that time of year. It's, you know, it's, it's time for. We haven't had a predator in so long. It's time for a predator. It just is, you know. And it's time for Matt to get the shotgun out, and I got to sight the rifle in because I want to make sure that uh, I got some nice hollow point uh, ammunition this year. I want to make sure when I shoot out the bedroom window because they always seem to be at the front here when I get my shot off either right here or just on the other side of the pen oh look at this Frank trying to catch up with his woman I just can't believe a duck and a goose are, are uh, a couple <laughs> it's, it's just unbelievable actually Yeah, so I've got to make sure uh, that it's sighted in. I don't want to, I, I, because I know you only get one single shot. You never get two shots. Well, hardly ever get two shots. So I've got to make sure that if he's in this area, 
that absolutely for sure when I pull the trigger where the red dot is it's hitting them actually you know what guys if it holds off on raining I'm going to be able to uh, get in here and level this stuff off it's drying out really nice actually it's uh yeah it is actually i'm really surprised but yesterday was snow and not uh rain this is going to make a big difference because when this stuff packs down it's going to be a real nice smooth surface Yeah, hopefully it uh, doesn't rain. <laughs> Even though the weather forecast is calling for rain. I just can't believe it. Oh, you know, I had plans. Oh, man, you know in the winter when, when Metzer Farms... Look who? When Metzer Farms and I uh, were talking and I thought, you know, May, you know, usually you have good luck, uh, you know, with the weather usually <laughs> um, this year not but I got to be responsible I can't just uh, spend money just because it's not my money All right, if I'm gonna ask you guys to help the show out here I've got to be uh, I've got to be uh, uh, you know responsible that's the bottom line because we all work hard for our money and uh, to be reckless would just be stupid. I don't see any other uh, gravel nests here. Uh, uh, gravel nests. All right, let's go to the barn. Hopefully tomorrow's warmer. They said it's supposed to be. Tonight's supposed to be the last cold night. I couldn't believe it though. Uh, well, they said it was supposed to go to minus two. When I woke up, it was minus 1.3. That's cold for me, guys. Like, you know, minus 1.3 is actually really nice weather normally, you know, in the winter. But in the spring, oh, man, it's like you wimp out. Because I don't know if you're just gearing up and your body's saying like it should be warm and it's not. And I got to remount this door. I'm going to take the door. I'm going to lower it down so that it opens and closes with no problem. We'll get by. We'll patch her together. I'll make it happen. We can fit a thousand ducklings in here, no problem. It's gonna be awesome, oh man. Okay, I gotta uh, latch this so Doug doesn't come in. We got some ducks on uh, nests here and I don't want him causing the ducks to uh, panic and break eggs even though you know Doug is Mr. Gentle and he walks around so calm around the ducks and they lose it but man he uh I couldn't believe it last night he was trying to get out the bedroom window he wasn't even screwing around with the patio door um he was going like because the the you couldn't see him that good out of the patio door but you could really see him good out of the bedroom window and that Doug was just like he was psyched man it was actually really cool to see him because he heard the sound because I, I well actually the sound woke Doug and I up first that was the first thing and he uh, perked his head up come on Coco Duck um, he perked his head up and then all of a sudden it was just he was off the bed so I guess uh, the ducks were letting us know that you know something was here and then when they he came around to the house side of the pen come on girl come on come on come on oh, don't freak out um, so when he got between the house and the pen I guess that's when the smell kicked in and Doug could smell it and uh, <laughs> it was like oh he he was it was impressive guys and the only reason he barked was because he couldn't get outside because he was trying to get out and then when he realized he couldn't get out like if I would have had the patio door 
um, open enough that he could have used his nose, I think Doug would have went onto the roof. And he would have been gone because uh, he was seriously psyched out. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm actually, you know, and don't hold me. I don't know if I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to regret it. I know it. But um, Doug right now is at the perfect age to start training another dog. He uh, is so good at his job that I'm thinking that he potentially could be a really good teacher right now. But he needs to get a little older because he still wants to play too much. Come on. And I don't want him playing with another dog. I want him working. Come on. Come on out. Don't freak out. Just come on out, girl. Come on. There you go. So, because I've, I've seen Doug around dogs and he wants to play. So, it's uh, he needs to get a little, a little more maturity to get through the playing thing. And uh, but he'd be a really good teacher, man. He he knows his job. Oh, Doug, you were impressive last night. Oh man, he went from a real little snuggle bunny on the bed to come on, Doug, to uh, all out attack, <laughs> standing in the window. We got a serious buckets of eggs here the last couple days do a food bank run come back and get on the phone with tech support and finally master this thing I'm thinking it's the intuitive software that's causing me the problem because it keeps going to this not logged in thing and I'm thinking that's the problem is it's using sort of like uh, sort of like a semi app to log you in to your YouTube channel and uh, I need to be hard coded into the encoder to uh, stream that way I can't be bumped or have this you know unlogged in because I know that if you have um, the actual serial number of your channel for live streaming you don't have to log in because that serial number is like a password for your channel so it's sort of like you, it's they, they call it a stream key. So you give the URL of where you're streaming to, and then you give the stream key, and then it uh, streams to your channel. So you don't need to log in. That's the way I've got to get it set up. But for the life of me this morning, I couldn't figure it out, couldn't get it to work. So I ended up using the app again with the, within the software to log in. But I'm going to get it figured out today. That's the plan. Look at that. She's upset. They're out here like. But yeah, I took all my net. You took all my eggs there, buddy. Look at this. Like, they're walking around because they want out. Oh, I'm sorry, ducks. Oh, yeah. I can't do that today. They're, uh, <laughs> I gotta be responsible. Take care of the ducks. So I'm thinking we lost one. I just do. I just got a. I got a. I got a feeling that there's a missing duck. The fact that that uh, fox came right into the yard last night, because we haven't had any nighttime visitors in a long, long time, and the fact that the ducks were locked up, I'm thinking that he uh, came by yesterday during the day, didn't score anything. So he came back at night. I heard her rustle around the uh, the wire. I don't know. It was uh, it was strange noises last night. Like I honestly thought the Muscovies were outside, but then I got the flashlight and I saw I thought I found them, but and then I thought oh, okay, there's only one. And I thought okay, another one's still out somewhere. All right, girls. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll do their water first. I'll let them soak a little longer. So tomorrow, these girls are gonna get with the rest of the flock, and I'm gonna convert the uh, the metal shed to uh, you know all nesting boxes and try to get the females going in there before I shut down the barn. 
That's the plan anyways. Okay, that female that's being chased right now, she's the one from the barn that was sitting on the, uh, the nest. Look at that male. Eh? He wants her and she's like, no, I'm a nest sitter. I'm not a breeder. <laughs> Duck. She's freaking, he's just being like slow and steady. I'll get you, duck. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to uh, finish my chores here, get this happening. And then uh, we're going to the uh, food bank, drop off the eggs. And uh, we'll get this show on, on, on the road again. We'll figure out something, how I'm going to pull this off this spring. But we'll pull it off. It's still going to be awesome. Uh, I, I'm still really pumped. Like 1,000 to 1,200 ducklings at once in the barn. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. It's going to be a lot of fun. A ton of fun. So I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, we'll see you later on the egg run to the food bank.